Good morning, ladies. Today I wish to touch on a few points on how to become a godly woman and have a burning heart for the truth. A godly woman isn't perfect. Rather, she's learning to open up and trust in her Savior. The measuring stick of your godliness is not based on a comparison for other women, not even the Proverbs 31 woman, but on your own personal commitment to Jesus Christ. Let us discuss a few traits which may help you to become a godly woman. Demonstrate an intimate knowledge of God's word by quoting scriptures in your conversations with others. Not trying to impress people, but rather to emphasize the key to balancing faith and actions based on God's word. Matthew 4 verse 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Reflect a calm and quiet spirit as you rely on and trust in the Holy Spirit to guide, lead and comfort you, even in situations which seem out of control. For you know that you can take your burdens and worries to the cross and leave them there. 1 Peter 3 verse 3 to 4 says, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. Anchor your courage and strength in the knowledge that God will never leave nor forsake you. Do not allow fear to enter your thoughts or feelings, for you know your anchor intimately, and His name is Jesus Christ. Joshua 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Be a prayer warrior and intercessor by taking all your worries and concerns to God in prayer. Keep on praying for your enemies, your unsaved family and friends, and cling to God until you get the breakthrough. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing. Be generous in giving your time, energy, gifts and finances towards the needy. Also learn to resist holding back because of your strong confidence in God to meet your needs according to His riches in glory. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 to 11 says, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness, while you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Give wise advice according to the scriptures and let your words be sprinkled with salt. Your firm but gentle words of wisdom will attract more people to you than pushing them away. They will seek your advice regularly as you would speak the truth and the truth shall set them free. Proverbs 31 verse 26 says, she opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. Confess your faults to God on a daily basis, and then your heart will remain humble and tender towards others 
who fall into sin's treacherous temptations. Psalm 38 verse 18 says, For I will declare my iniquity. I will be in anguish over my sin. Be joyful and cheerful, taking a godly joy to with you wherever you go. This will enlighten the depressed and worried. Although you would not take yourself too seriously, you will still keep the, to the truth in your conversations. Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Complete tasks thoroughly as if you are doing the work for Christ and not for men. Your reputation will become solid among believers as well as unbelievers. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. For thee there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Forgive easy by remembering that you are also being forgiven quickly without any condemnation or question. Choose to forgive even if you do not feel like it. Colossians 3 verse 13 says, Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Well, going through the list of trades may make you feel like a failure. But let me assure you, even I cannot match up to all of these. Therefore, let us dig deeper into God's word and meditate on the scriptures. And I'm sure that we will get stronger in resisting the evil one. Whenever you feel tempted to do something you know is not right, pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance. Quote scriptures and you will be surprised how quickly things start changing for the better. I want to encourage you, keep on reading God's word and continue to pray each and every day. Remember, being a godly woman does not mean that you are perfect, so do not condemn yourself. Rather keep on working on your intimate relationship with God. Would you please pray this prayer with me? Father God, thank you that we do not have to be perfect, but that we have to strive towards an intimate relationship with you. Only then we will discover our true worth through your eyes. Please help us not to delay, but to start spending time in your word and seeking your face. Amen. May you all have a blessed day.